Hi Sagittarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 21st through November the 27th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Sagittarius for November the 21st through November the 27th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Sagittarius for November the 21st through November the 27th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Sagittarius for November the 21st through November the 27th, 2021. Show me. Birthday coming up, Sag. Happy birthday, Sag. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sag. Sag, this is a peek at your partner. So, Sag, your partner has the Two of Cups. Darling, your partner has the Four of Swords. Your partner has the two of wands your partner has the queen of pentacles and your partner has uh -huh, the empress so sag your partner has the two of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is we see eye to eye face to face we are spiritually connected we are one we are meant to be we are soulmates soulmates with a divine union a divine connection so sag listen your partner sees you as their soulmate okay but something could be going on in you guys connection here clarify the two of cups for sagittarius's partner clarify the two of cups for sagittarius's partner Clarify the two of cups for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is your partner feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is your partner mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So, Sag, listen, your partner is hurt and mourning, okay? So, I don't know. We're going to find out what's going on. But your partner could also tell me that they're feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played in you guys' connection. Sag, your partner has the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So, Sag, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break here. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover. However, your partner could tell me that they're meditating on something. Clarify the Four of Swords for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Four of Swords for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Sag could be dealing with a Taurus. You know, you guys may be in a commitment here. Very well could be that your partner is meditating on going into a commitment, okay? This can be about forgiveness. This can be about dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, or religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Hierophant 
for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Sag, listen, <clears throat> your partner may be meditating on a decision concerning you guys' commitment, concerning forgiveness. However, Sag, your partner could tell me that this sword was used to sever here, okay, because you guys are on a break. Your partner could also be making a decision to go on a break or... Your partner's telling me that some type of truth and clarity came out here and you guys are just on a break, okay? Sag, your partner has the two of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know, Sag. Your partner needs to decide here, okay? Your partner's at a place where they're trying to figure out where to go from here. Clarify the two of wands. For Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the two of wands. For Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the two of wands. For Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Sag, listen, your partner may be at a crossroads needing to decide maybe about forgiveness here, okay? And not just that. It could be about going into a commitment and starting a new era in love, but maybe starting new here, okay? So they're trying to decide here. So listen, like I said, they could be mourning, yes, but they could also be feeling remorse and regret. Sag, hmm. I hope it's not that you have new love and this is where your partner is right now, needing to make a decision, okay? Your partner has the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Sag could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Sag could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups and using their intuition concerning something, maybe needing to make a decision or search or searching their emotions concerning something, okay? But Sag, I'm seeing this mothering, nurturing energy here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So, Sag, listen, <clears throat> your partner very well could be using their intuition here, trying to make a decision, and it's a tough decision. Your partner could be searching their emotions here, but Sag, is this mothering, nurturing energy in this? In tarot, this Ace of Cups, this brand new blessing could be a baby and we have this Empress sitting here. So is this about making a decision for forgiveness here or is this a 
a situation where there's severance of some type of commitment here. Sag. Sag. Your partner has the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. You know, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius's partner. Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Sag, listen. Hmm. Huh. Your partner is either telling me that you guys already had this commitment foundation between you and it could be some type of mothering energy coming here and this is the reason why you guys are on a break. It could be feeling remorse and regret because it's their fault. However, Sag, your partner could also tell me that they're making a decision and wanting to start a new era in love with you guys, maybe going into commitment here, okay? And this very well could be that they want to nurture the relationship going forward here. You guys are on a break, it hurt them and it put them at a place where I need to get this off of my chest. I need to make a decision. And maybe they're wanting to level up. Sag, this is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 21st through November the 27th, 2021. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week.